Hey everybody, Comp Model 26 back here again for another review. Um, as this is my second to last review in the series that I'm doing for uh, Joiner's Hot Pepper Powders. Again, you can uh, visit them at heatmadesimple.com and as always I will have their inf that, uh, the website information in the, uh, at the credits of the review as well as the description. Um, tonight I'll be doing an autumn march. Good looking pod right there. Give you a little close up of it here. Now I really like Naga Morge peppers. I love the flavor of the boots and Nagas. I'm quite fond of those. So very, very good. Of course, it's not my favorite flavor, but I am fond of them. I still like the uh, yellow seven pots are my, as my top flavor. Excuse me. But anyway, we'll have a look at it here on the inside and see what it looks like. Not a lot of placenta, not a lot of oil, actually. Don't smell much oil. Doesn't have a very strong uh, chinense smell to it. it. Smells slightly sweet, not really. But yeah, I'm kind of used to Nagas having more of a very strong, pungent aroma to them. Um, that you can call it the chinense smell. Uh, most capsicum chinense peppers will have a distinctive smell to them and usually boots and nagas have a it's a it seems like it's amplified as far as the smell goes and the taste is typically amplified as well so but as far as smell goes it's not terribly not terribly pungent but I'll let you guys have a look on the inside here focus there it is shiny on the camera here but that's not oil that's reflecting the light. Maybe mo just moisture in the pot, I'm not sure, but it's that's not oil. I, don't, I didn't see a single drop of oil inside this. And as you can tell, there's not a whole lot of placenta going on there. I don't know, so we'll just have a look and see how it goes. Just see what happens. Not the flavor I'm used to. Doesn't have a boot or a naga flavor. It's more of a seven pot flavor to it. It is uh, mildly sweet, mildly fruity. Not really, doesn't have a, an overpowering or a very, very strong chin and taste to it either. So just like the, um, the smell was mild, this was a mild flavor as well. What I'm used to with Naga, Naga Morich and Boot Jalokias, all those that are somewhat similarly related to, is that the Chinense taste and smell is a very, very strong flavor. Or very, very strong Chinense uh, flavor and a very, very strong Chinense smell. This was completely different. This was, again, tastes a little bit more like a seven pot. Not sure what to, what, what to deduce out of that, sure. As far as heat goes, um, it's attacking me much like a boot or a naga would, where it's mainly focused on the back of my throat. Not insanely strong yet, but it's still building. Got a little bit under the salivary glands, but it's mainly focused on the back of my throat. It's a slow builder. But I'd say this is already hotter than the uh, white boot that I had last night. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just still a little thrown off by that flavor. It's what not at all what I what I was expecting. Again, fruity, sweet, um, mildly sweet, but mildly sweet and fruity. A little hint of floralness in there, not a whole lot, but it was it was mostly fruity. A pretty good flavor actually. It, was, it all that that all went went together pretty well. <clears throat> Heat still building. Still again, really attacking the back of my throat. Really, really strong in the back of the throat compared to everywhere else in my mouth. 
Uh, back of the tongue has it a little bit. Salivary glands are not bad at all. There's a little sniffle coming on there. Eyes are getting a little glossy. <clears throat> Still building too. So it builds much like a Naga would. Nagas and boots have a very, very slow build to them, uh, but they end up peaking pretty darn high. <clears throat> Good pod so far, I'm liking it. There's no bitterness at all in the flavor. I've had some of uh, Chris's Naga Morch uh, powder before, and it's very, very good. So, expect nothing different out of a, a batch made from these pods. Really, really good. Still building. It's not stopped yet. It's still getting more intense. Actually, it's starting to get a, a throbbing sensation in the back of my throat right now. <clears throat> blowing my nose here. Making me have to blow my nose. That's something. You know, the more I swallow, the more intense the throat burn gets. Really, really good pe pepper. I'm enjoying this very much. Mm, let's see. I think we've about peaked now. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't feel the burn. Uh, intensifying anymore. A little bit of a little bit of sting going on when I burp there. <clears throat> really really good pod. I, I put this at another medium high heat level right now. I don't think it's gonna get any higher than that. No, I'd say medium high heat. Flavor was really really good. Just surprising. As I said before, it's a little bit surprised me. I wasn't expecting it to be that way. I was expecting more of a stronger chin ince flavor and a stronger, maybe a little bit more florally. When I say chin ince, like, it had, tends to have a more floral flavor to it. And, um, and with uh, the boots and nagas, that seems to be a little bit more pronounced. This was, was kind of the opposite, where it was slightly floral but more fruity, which you get more out of like seven pots and whatnot. <clears throat> Yep, yeah, we're leveled off. It feels like it's starting to work its way down. Um, again, these are from uh, Joiner's Hot Pepper Powders. If you've not already visited the website, please do so. Chris has some amazing powders. And as you saw from what I've been eating here, uh, some excellent peppers that go into those powders. Um, yeah, so visit heatmadesimple.com. Check them out. Again, I've got one pod left after this one. I've got the seven pod SR, so I'll probably be doing that tomorrow night. And that should wrap up my uh, my reviews for Chris Joyner. Um, I believe he's got more that are going to be coming my way in the in the near future. Uh, I've got a I got some pods from uh, PepperLover.com that are on their way to me. I believe they should be here by the end of the week. So I'll start a series for her for Judy. Um, so. I'm expecting some really cool varieties coming from her, so hopefully you guys uh, won't be disappointed in that. I don't think you will be. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the review off. It was a uh, very good pepper, and um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.